My name is Tina Schuler and I'm uh, originally born in Vienna, but I've been living and working in Brooklyn, New York for the last about 15 years. And I'm happy to be here at the New York Art Book Fair at PS1 and introduce my new book, Radical Camp. Okay, then we will look at your book. So uh, that's your first book yeah, you did? Yeah, that's the first uh, self-published book right. I made. And uh, let's open it. So you're working with uh, media photography? Yeah, I, yeah, my background is filmmaking, but for the last six, seven years I've been really focusing on making photo photographs mm -hmm. and uh, right now I make fine art photography. But uh, the way I work is, is very much informed by my previous filmmaking, so I stage um, images and always based on a certain narrative. Right. So this is not in the framework of a film, which were done? This no, is just these are kind images, of re kind of, yeah, plotted around a scenario. And right. in this case, it's about um, a group of uh, seven people taking part in an unknown um, mission mm -hmm. and there's a leader and there's followers and it's really my exploration of the rise of extremist and radical groups in the US and in Europe. The images look a bit like uh, cuts out of a film because the, the colors are very yeah, very much strong or sharp. How I'm, would you describe this? Yeah, I very much um, am inspired by a certain style of filmmaking and uh, I very much like stark images and the cinematic look or feel is a very important part of my process. I use lights and I really go in there, I have like a storyboard and I carefully set up my images. And the people who are involved in your photographs? Yeah, these are all this. a combination of, I usually I really like to work with non-actors a lot, so these are people I know and I've, I've been basically auditioning for a while and uh, there's sometimes I work with actors but for the most part I really prefer to work with non-actors. Very nice. And what, what does it do to you to see your images in a publication? Well for me I think um, Making a book really um, helped me to basically reach a bigger audience and to also have like a really finished product to show. I mean, obviously a photograph can be shown multiple ways these days, online or in an exhibition, or, but I really like the book format because it also helps, in terms of my work, it really helps to kind of bind it together and to help translate or uh, emphasize the narrative even mm -hmm. more, I think. so. Especially this series, I think, is very suitable for the book format. Do you think the single image is changing when you put them together in a line like this? Uh, yes, I do think. I definitely think the way people read images in terms of a book is very different to just seeing it separate. But I also think, for me, it's very important that an image itself can hold, can be strong enough to just stand by itself. And I, yeah, I think there is definitely. Both, both are just different ways of presenting. What's the original size? The original size uh, for this project is 16 by 20. 16 inches. by 20, okay. And where can I get the book? You can get the book um, <laughs> on my website. There's a link where I'm basically, right. it's a limited edition, so I just, whoever's interested, I send it. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs>